Hey guys, welcome to Arab Instruments website. My name is Niri and um, today we're going to talk a little bit about which nay should you choose. We get this question many times, uh, which nay should I choose if I'm a beginner or uh, if I like this style of music or that style of music. So, um, I'm going to go through one nay at a time and every kawala as well and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about which style is it and why should you take this nay and not the other nay and then there's going to be a link under every nay I'm going to talk about and you can hear the sound of that nay uh, from our previous videos alright so I want to begin by saying that I personally started with plastic nays as well for the first three years of my nay playing uh, I used only plastic nays and um, I think it helped me because it's easier producing sound from a plastic nay and it's much easier uh, going around with so um, uh, I will start with the best basic uh, nays to begin with alright so the first nay I'm going to talk about is the bolahenk the bolahenk or mi in the duga position is, um, is very easy to play and uh, it's fast and um, uh, and has a round tone and you can play with piano very easily and with guitars and this size is uh, really averaged not too small not too large the large ones are harder to produce sound in the low octave and the small ones you have to be very strong in the in the high notes so this one the Bolahenk one will uh, be very easy for you to play uh, again the, the, the quarter tone is tuned the same way in all of my nays and uh, it's tuned the Arabic way um, plus when you hear Turkish uh, big orchestras playing usually they play Bolahenk this tuning so this is the first one, the Bolahenk the second one I'm going to talk about is the one that I use most of my tutorials with uh, this is uh, Super D. It's really easy, you can go up uh, the notes really easy and um, you play with piano and guitars really easy. Um, the, the, it's easy to play, to, to produce sound from and it's a bit longer from the Bola Henk and it makes it easier to go up on the, the higher notes. Um, Many times I use uh, Super D, many times, and it's really, um, I think, one of the best nays to begin with. So, Super D, Re minor. Next one I'm going to talk about is the small nay, the Sol nay. This will be adequate for uh, Arabic music, and um, it has high notes, and it's kind of faster although it's the same diameter so it's easy to um, produce sound from uh, it's not like smaller and smaller the small the nay is it's harder to produce sound from so this would be more adequate for uh, Arabic music Arabic songs and uh, faster going um, kind of playing so if you're interested in purely Arabic music this would be your nay the, the, the first ones will be the Super D and the uh, Bola Heng because they're a bit easier to produce sound from but as well, this one as well is not, is not very difficult so Sol uh, is good for the Arabic music and the high-pitched uh, melodies the next one I'm going to talk about is the Keys Ney uh, this is where I emphasize that the first ones, the Bola Heng and the Super D, are perfect for Arabic music. Uh, they're tuned Arabic way, so and many many um, Arabic tunes are played on Super D and Bola Heng. Um, and the keys one is actually the most Turkish ney we have here. Uh, keys is uh, the ney you start with, you begin with. Even if you're six years old, you take this one, which is uh, long, it's the biggest one we have right now, and it's very um, 
challenging to produce the low octave from. It's challenging but very rewarding uh, and it's again it's easy to produce this, the, the low tones because uh, this is plastic. So this is more of a Turkish kind of ney but also for the brave ones yeah that want to go deep and uh, slow and low tones you're gonna enjoy this one. Alright now I'm gonna talk about the kawalas. This is, uh, I have here the, the white kawala and the turquoise kawala. The kawala sound is very, very distinct. If you, if you heard it and you liked it, you're probably totally hooked about it. Uh, it's not as easy as ne, I think, because uh, the sound producing has to be very strong from the lips. And it's a bit more primitive, so you have to understand what you're doing, but it's totally possible. These kawalas are la kawalas. They're very common and uh, you can play almost with every instrument. This means la bayat. And uh, um, I, I urge you to hear the sound of these kawalas from the links here. Uh, you're gonna uh, realize very fast what, what kind of, of flute this is. So, la kawala. Alright, so, so the last one is the me, the big kawala. Uh, first of all, we have a, a video tutorial explaining the difference between ne and kawala. So if you have this question, uh, feel free to go to that, that video and understand what, what's the difference. Um, now about this kawala. This kawala is like the, uh, the challenger, the challenge of kawalas. Uh, it's, you can see it's big and uh, it's more like a bansuri. If you know the Bansuri flute, uh, the Indian flute, with the very deep sound and very round and, and smooth sound. So this kawala is the deepest and uh, very um, satisfying to play on um, if, if you are already capable. So know your kawalas and this is the, the biggest kawala we have here. So enjoy this one. So guys, in conclusion. We have here a bunch of uh, excellent nays for you and kawalas. Uh, we're working so hard to get you the best products we can. Uh, and we're, we welcome every question and every reference you have to tell us. Uh, I, I personally uh, react to your questions and I'm, I'm really looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Um, again, uh, some people think that plastic is, is not good enough. I disagree. I think plastic is amazing and it's really easy to take with me and it's like my backup nays for everything and many times I, I perform with uh, the plastic nays. Uh, it's really easy to maintain and it's really easy to handle and to control and um, and it's cheaper, you know. So enjoy those nays. Whatever question you have, uh, just tell us. Don't forget to subscribe in order to get more videos and I really hope to hear from you soon. Thanks guys and bye bye.